Well, our next guest says that the TELF program is the way to get the banks back on track, but that we need to ensure that these financial institutions do not get a free ride on taxpayer money. Joining us now is Peter Kaufman, president of the Gordian Group, an independent investment bank specializing in complex and distressed financial advisory work. He's also the co-author of Distressed Investment Banking to the Abyss and Back. Peter, good to see you. Nice to be back, Alexis. All right, so you're concerned about the, the basically the government is insolvent and we need to do something about it. Yeah, the country's insolvent. We, America is in a massive financial workout mode and one of the benchmarks of a financial workout for an insolvent entity is you cut spending, you try and figure out how to lower your debt. Instead, we're spending more and raising more debt. It, it intellectually doesn't make, make sense to me. At Gordian Group, we understand that you to solve these problems, you need an equitable sharing of the pain. There is no silver bullet. There's no happy solution here. There's only painful incremental solutions. Okay, so you like the TALF program, and you've been talking about the expansion of it. You've been calling for it for quite some time. Right. Tell me why. Because it has a market dynamic, as horrible as the, the uh, being in the market seems to have been, at least amongst Congress, uh, private, the private sector has to help here. The government can't, can't do this. So you need a market dynamic. I like the fact that private folks are going to be setting prices and, and doing the transactions uh, with you know, advantageous government loans, taxpayer loans. Okay, but you also say that, that we need to be make sure that there are certain people who are not getting a free ride on taxpayer money. How do we do that? Uh, absolutely. Uh, while in my uh, day job, uh, I advise boards of directors about how to resolve their problems to the advantage of shareholders, here I'm wearing a hat looking out for the taxpayer because somebody has to. And while I don't want to burden the TALF program with anything else vis-a-vis -vis the taxpayer, the fact of the matter is the taxpayer is taking all the risk in TALF and getting just a minimal part of the upside. The idea is that we need to unclog the system uh, through getting rid of the toxic assets. But if these financial institutions who are getting rid of the toxic assets benefit, the, the beneficiaries are going to be their bondholders and their shareholders. I want the taxpayer to be there with, with, their, with our hands out saying, we get some economic upside here, not to run the So how do we do that? Uh, we can give them participation interests in the financial institutions in proportion, direct proportion, to how much these institutions sell into the TALF and the public-private program. So we wouldn't have shareholder rights. You know, we wouldn't run these companies. But, but if, the, if these companies, if the financial institutions benefit after selling into TALF, the taxpayer should get an economic re recovery. Uh, interesting point because that has clearly been one of the greatest frustrations that the American taxpayer right now is taking all the risk without participating in the upside. But the other point that people are making is, wait a second, the combination of the FDIC and the Treasury offering, let's see, uh, let's say for the sake of argument, you got a hundred dollars, seven private investors, seven, you know, a, a match from right. the Treasury, an eighty-six dollar loan from the combination of the FDIC and Treasury. Do you not worry, though, that we're just creating the same kind of credit bubble that we are coming out of by assuming the exposure both at the FDIC and at the Treasury? The government has a goal to unclog. The, somebody's made the decision that we've got to unclog the banks, the financial system for these toxic assets. I'm not here to debate whether that's a good goal or bad goal. But I've always been, a, a, you know, on this show months ago, I said you need to expand TALF to include toxic mortgages. I like the public-private partnership because I think it is a way to try to unclog the, the, mm -hmm. the system. But I want to make sure that the taxpayer reaps the upside benefits by taking it out of the hide of these, these financial institutions, which some could argue are zombie financial institutions when you cut right through it. So I want to make sure the taxpayer gets economic upside so that they benefit side by side with the shareholders who are benefiting from taxpayer advantageous loans to the private sector. Very good point. Peter Kaufman, as always, wonderful seeing you. Great to Thanks see you. Thanks so much for being here. All right, guys, we're going to take a quick break, and we'll be right back with the opening bell and perhaps a weigh-in. Stay with us.